If you haven't heard of him before, meet Dr. Charles Jackson, professor of creation science. Back when I was in college, they taught us that Neanderthals were the missing link. Uh, right. And uh, here's another article, a new science finding that uh, continues to verify what creationists were saying for the past 50 or 60 years, Neanderthals were people too. No one has ever suggested that Neanderthals were not people. If humans are people, and any species in the genus Homo, including extinct species, are human, then all of them are people. And I mention the Groots here because in that movie, if you ever saw it, uh, the girl was obviously from a Neander family, and the boy she had the romantic interest in was probably a Denisovan or a Cro-Magnon, but, but from a tribe of people that the evolutionists have always taught us were homo sapiens, well not always taught us were homo sapiens, but that uh, they now agree were our homo sapiens. Cro-Magnon man has always been considered homo sapiens, ever since the beginning. I've seen Dr. Jackson make the same mistake over and over again, every single lecture, every single video he makes about human origins. And so here's the whole article, and you can see that it's from uh, September, it's very recent, uh, and you could read that for yourself, but uh, the whole idea, now you know Homo neanderthalensis has been reclassified as Homo sapiens. No, it hasn't. The article that he references specifically talks about a hybrid. Other articles on the topic specifically mention that it was two different species, a hybrid of two different species. Uh, Homo heidelbergensis has been reclassified as an archaic Homo sapiens. No, Homo heidelbergensis fossils date as old as 700,000 years ago, and no one is claiming that Homo sapiens was around at that time. While there has been some talk about reclassifying some of the more recent Homo heidelbergensis fossils, the older fossils still represent a separate and distinct species. Uh, all of those missing links that, that I was shown in college have been reclassified as either a, a definite tribe or interbreeding group of Homo sapiens or just a monkey. This is just absolute nonsense and blatantly false. The top species in this image is Homo sapiens. Up below it we have different hominin species including other genus Homo, none of which are classified as Homo sapiens. Not a single one of these species is classified as a monkey. This guy just doesn't know what he's talking about. The Australopithecines, uh, Australopithecine just means southern ape, uh, and they do make at least that distinction that those fossils are, are monkeys, little monkey fossils. I found this on a website designed for grade school children. Maybe Dr. Jackson should go back to grade school and then he can find out what the difference is between a monkey and an ape. Most creationists feel that Homo habilis or handyman and Homo erectus, upright walking man, were probably people, uh, but the bone fragments are, are uh, are not very uh, uh, complete, and so you know eh, you can kind of go either way, I think. But although most creationists will go along with those, um, you know, being brain case big enough and uh, uh, upright walking and things. Wrong and wrong again. We have hundreds of Homo erectus fossils, and some are nearly complete. Early Homo erectus cranial capacity was not within the range of modern humans, but was definitely transitional. Although we have not found, uh, to my knowledge at any way, uh, graves of Homo habilis and uh, Homo erectus that definitely show uh, burial rites and rituals like Neanderthals had, leaving belongings and clothing and flowers and things and uh, uh, in the grave, definitely put there by the same uh, uh, species as was uh, the body buried in the grave. Neanderthals may have had some burial rites, and of course those things might have been put there by the same species, but that still doesn't mean that that is the same species as us. They were our closest extinct cousins. 
life. Well, anyway, Neanderthals were people too, and people have been people, and monkeys have been monkeys ever since the beginning, and there were never any monkey people. Well, it finally took till the end of the video, but he finally got something right. What we can tell for sure is that Dr. Charles Jackson knows absolutely nothing about human evolution. He doesn't know what we teach about human evolution. And the only thing that we know for sure is that he doesn't understand evolution.